Hello and happy holidays to our friends all over the world. Merry Christmas. We were kicking around ideas for holiday gifts and I was asked if there was anything in my toolbox that might make a good inexpensive gift for machinists. So we looked and we found what I think is the perfect gift for any machinist that you love, even if that machinist is you. Nope, too expensive. Put it back. Okay, that's a good one, close. Now we're getting warmer. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Nope, we said for machinists. Now this, this is the perfect gift. The Swiss Army Knife of Machinist Tools. The Amazon reviews for this particular steel rule were excellent. And they were right. It is great for stirring coffee and much, much more. You can cut your holiday fruitcake with it. You can open boxes with it. You can clean your nails or even peel oranges. Now, I've seen people loosen screws with it <laughs> and clean gum from their shoes. Don't do this. Don't be that guy. Now, I have even heard that you can measure parts with this device. Now, this is just a super handy tool when measuring raw stock or just getting a rough estimate of tool lengths before probing. Now, I want to buy one of these or, or another one. I actually have a couple of uh, legitimate tips for you regarding steel rules. For more accurate measurements, avoiding parallax, where the uh, apparent measurement changes based on which direction you view the graduations from, hold the rule on its edge. This is especially true when using rigid steel rules like this one, as opposed to the, the flexible one that I have in my pocket. Now, if you're in the United States and you deal in inches, you've probably seen a lot of steel rules with graduations marked in 64ths of an inch or 30 seconds of an inch. But by far, my favorite steel rules are the ones that are marked with 1 tenth or 1 one hundredth increments, graduations. Do yourself a favor and uh, if you deal in inches, pick up a decimal inch scale. In the real world today, on all the blueprints that I work on, my values are given to me in decimal inches or millimeters. On the Haas machine, it gives us our values in decimal inches or in millimeters. We don't walk up to the machine and have it say that it's a certain number of 64ths of an inch. No, it's in decimal values. So I prefer this scale, which gives me decimal inches on the one side and decimal metric versions on the other. It's my favorite scale. I'll leave you with a quote. Instead of our engineers and machinists speaking in eighths, sixteenths, and thirty seconds of an inch, it's more desirable for them to think and to speak in tenths, hundredths, and thousands of an inch. It's just more accurate. Now that's a quote from Sir Joseph Whitworth way back in 1857. And even in 1857, they knew that, that going off of scant or heavy sixty-fourths of an inch just wasn't a great system. So have I convinced you yet? Are you ready to come over to the dark side and gift yourself a decimal inch scale? Or you could just wait a century or two and we'll probably all, even here in the United States, move over to the metric system. Let the comments begin. That's it for today and go spend some time with your family.